Hello everyone and welcome to Blaine's Pain, Gain, and Fitness Fasting or Intermittent Fasting. And today we're going to be looking at the positive uh, benefits of intermittent fasting versus the negative side effects that you may experience if you decide to use this as your diet plan. So let's go ahead and begin with uh, number one benefit of course is going to be weight loss. You will experience weight loss. Now we need to clear something up really quick. Uh, you are not going to be starving yourself on this plan. Okay? Uh, wait, what? Blaine, what are you talking about? You'll be fasting, right? Yes. So if you decide, say you're going to be really strict and you're going to do the eight hours of eating and the 16 hours of fasting. During that eight hours, you're going to be taking in all of your calories, okay? So if you're around 2,000 calories, you're going to be taking that all in within eight hours. And you can eat whatever you want in that eight hours. Now, I do suggest, okay, and I tell my clients all the time, I prefer you to, for you to eat clean. During those eight hours, eat as clean as possible. So you want to eat uh, clean carbs because your body is going to burn those more efficiently, okay, and it's going to utilize that. It's like putting in high-grade fuel into your body. And we're going to touch on that a little bit more here in a minute. So weight loss. Next thing is brain function, okay? Lowers cholesterol. And another really positive thing that I like is because when you when your body rests during those 16 um, or 14 hours, it all it resets itself. It gives it time to just rest, to increases your, your cells, your cell growth, uh, increases your your gut bacteria, it balances that back out, and it's just really nice so your body and your your uh, digestive system is not working all the time, so it needs rest as well. All right, and then uh, another is sleep. Okay, it's going to help you with sleep. It's going to help with type two diabetes, and that's just some of the the positives um, and benefits of intermittent fasting right there. Now let's go ahead and look at the negative side effects. Number one, mood, especially starting out. It may affect your mood a little bit at night when you're used to having cereal or having whatever you want late at night and you tell your body no, it's going to rebel a little bit. It's going to make you your hormones and it's going to make you kind of a little bit moody for the first maybe couple of days, but you'll get through it, okay? Now, and then the next thing is cravings. So if you are eating clean during that fasting period or yeah, if during the time you actually eat, so 8 or 10 hours. If you're eating clean, then you may start having start having cravings, um, like that cereal, okay, that you normally would eat, and your body you're wanting those cravings. But here's something I want to reverse this and let you see some positive things about these negatives. Number one, if you are feeling hungry at that point, then you're putting yourself. It means your body is beginning the ketosis state, okay. So in other words, you can begin to eat off your fat or your reserve energy. It's a good thing. It's working. That's what you need to tell yourself. You can be very self-aware. If I'm feeling this way, it's because, for one, I'm telling my body no, and two, because it's working. All right? And then with the cravings, how can you help yourself with the cravings? I always tell my clients, pick a cheat meal. Once a week, pick you out a cheat meal. Okay? This is very important. Now, some people may feel like they may fall off the bandwagon if they cheat. I'm going to leave that up to you, but I really do encourage you to have one meal a week. Don't worry about the timing, and don't worry about what it is. In that meal, just enjoy yourselves. Uh, my wife and I, we always pick out, the, you know, if we want to have pizza, cheesecake, whatever, and if it's late at night, you know, that's our meal for us to just sit down and enjoy. It's like our date because we have kids, so we don't go, go out as much, and especially right now with all the, the corona stuff going on. Uh, and that means, that's why I'm actually on a 10-14 split. I'm not being extremely strict right now, just a lifestyle at home. Just en almost enjoying this time that I have with my family because I'm usually so busy. All right, so if you guys are interested in this or if you have any questions, okay, feel free to message me. I'll drop a link below if you're interested in getting my uh, nutrition plan and kind of help you get started on this. I'll sit down with you. We'll talk about the timing, talk about what good foods you need to be eating, and really get in even a workout plan if you're interested in that as well. So see you guys next time.